on your back. Sorry? That's an interesting sign on your back. Just remind me what it says, I've got so many. <laughs> I don't know, you've got plenty of all of them. What does it say? You will destroy the wisdom of the world. Ah, yes. Yeah, it's uh, a great passage for telling people, really, because so many people are wise in their own sight, right? right? They're not wise in the things of God, and so they're going in their own direction. They think they know... He's definitely going in the wrong direction, but yeah. <laughs> yes. First responders, oh, OK. God knows. But that's that's the message. Do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? I don't know him personally. But no. I've heard of him, yeah. And do you know what? You can have a personal relationship with him. Um. Yeah. There's definitely something, but I don't, I'm not sure what. Not sure what. So first of all, let's let's cross the first hurdle. Do you believe in the existence of a God? I don't know if we will know what it is as God, which is sort of Egyptology, which is dog, which is sort of God spelled backwards. That's what the Egyptians believed in. But I mean, it's certainly something what's more superior of human form. Yeah. Okay, so we, we, we've crossed that hurdle, that we can say that there is a God. I'll just say that's the question, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got to that point. Now, the question is which God now, isn't it? Because well, there's, there's so many of them, aren't there? You've got Joe over in the Caribbean, you've got Allah, you've got, you know, God. Uh, but they're all one. Okay. No, they're not all one. They're, they're quite separate. I'll put this to you, that the Lord Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. I he, think human beings are, are God, personally. No, no, absolutely not. No, not. no definitely no. not. I heard it in the Simon. And, and that that, that's it. just human pride that tells you that, oh, yeah. right? And you're listening more to the, uh, uh, the, if you like, the whispers of the enemy. The enemy is Satan. Satan is telling you all sorts of things. Yeah, tell it, well, right? Me fuck Let me tell you the I truth so that you, I've, I've got a clear conscience and if I can yeah, tell yeah. you the truth, I've told you, and it's up to you whether you believe it or not. Well, the truth is that the Lord Jesus Christ came as a baby and we celebrate it at Christmas, don't we? We look back to the Christmas uh, well, I had a bit of a birth. Yeah, we normally do. Yeah, yeah okay. Christmas wasn't that great, but and he grew to the age of 30 years of age and then he started his ministry and his purpose, and his purpose was yeah. to die for you and me. Think of that. Well, you know what, I do a lot of sort of antiques dealing. Yeah, like let that. me just continue if I may, okay, all right, because you'll lose the thread of it otherwise, yeah, okay. okay? So Jesus came as God in the flesh, as a human being, okay, and he died for you. That's what I At the to age of 33 and a half, he submitted himself to the Roman uh, soldiers to be executed. Really? Yes, he was executed Bloody on the hell. cross. He was whipped to within an inch of his life. He was stripped naked, and I mean Sounds naked. Like my bloody life. Okay, and bloody then he was Seriously? nailed. To, are you still listening, sir? Yes, I am listening. He was to nailed to the cross. Bloody hell. Okay, that's an awful way to die. And he did this for you and for me because he's taken the punishment that you and I deserve for the things that we've done wrong. But what have we done wrong? Have you ever told a lie? Yeah, but that's sort of like, you know, white <laughs> lies and stuff. Everybody One told. lie will keep you out of the presence of God. Right. And let alone all the other things, stealing, dishonouring your parents, uh, sexual well, lust. When right. one parent got killed, we didn't let the millennium because he was a vicious gangster and he wasn't allowed in. Uh, the other one's a bit of an arse at the minute, but you know, I blame the bloody parents. I mean, look at what we've got today. I mean, when you look around... Before we point to other home, people's uh, problems, sir, we need to look at our own problems. Yes, we so do. So would you say that you're, if, if there's a, a God and there's a heaven and a hell, do you think you're going to go to heaven or hell? I'm definitely not going to hell. I've already had that. I've already, look, put it this way. In my life, I've had many near-death experiences. Okay. And many, many near-death, pretty much death, and uh, my whole family have as well because of my stupid father who is in hell. And it's like this: uh, when you've been subject to such massacre, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, it makes you quite fearless with anything under any situation, any heaviness, anything like well, that. Well, let me ask a searching question. Okay, a searching question. Searching question. question. It's a pretend situation. You've died. All right. It could happen tonight, couldn't it? I fucking hope so, mate. Well, I mean, it's shit at the minute, mate. Thank okay, you, mate. so let's uh, let's assume that you've died. Yeah. And you I'm arrive at the. I've died. Are you still listening, sir? I am listening. So when you've arrived at the gate of heaven, and an angel comes to you, and says, "Why should I let you in?" What yeah. would you give? What answer would you give to that question? I'd say, uh, if an angel presented itself at the gate and was like, "I've got the the way in, and uh, you need to let me know how it is." to get in, what you've done right, I'd say, well, at the end of the day, I've tried my best. Okay. Now, that's what we call 
Uh, salvation by works. You're trying to work your way into Tap heaven. Tap on the hands. All right. Works meaning that you think you've been good enough in this life to get in. I don't think I've been good enough. I've never killed anyone, but I've, you know, uh, I've had to deal with sandwiches, let's say, and stuff, and the youthful life. I had to because it was survival of that. Okay. The environment I was in, so. We have no choice. You've already said you don't want to go to hell and you don't think you're going there, but you're not sure how you're going to get into heaven. Do you know what, mate? You know when this life is over, it's another dimension. I see it as another dimension. It's all different illusions and dimensions and stuff, but I don't want to go too far into that. But the way I see life is probably different to any other 32-year-old. Do you remember what I've already told you how to get to heaven? Have you forgotten already? Not tell a lie. You haven't said though, really. I'll say it again then for you, go sir. Then. Jesus... Yeah. died for you and for me. It's having he, that acknowledgement for him. He took the punishment that you and I deserve yeah. so that you can get into heaven. So you have to put yourself... I ain't ready for that yet though, but when I am... When you are, at the, even at this point of your life, you no, can no. still submit yourself to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I nearly blew my own head off about six months ago. I say that as it is because I was really depressed. There was a situation in Northamptonshire, in Mullingbury, where they were going to actually stab me up and kill me. Um, it never happened. I believe if you've got a good heart and you've got good intentions, you'll be fine. If you've got bad intentions and you're evil... No, you're still not getting it. You're still not getting it, sir. You have to, put your, me, you have to put your trust into the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. The only way that you're going to get to heaven is totally putting your trust in the finished work of Jesus. He died on the cross for you I mean, and for me. I know that, but I have to say this. My grandfather got to 93 years of age and he just put his trust in himself and what he had and stuff. That's just what he did, and I'll follow in his footsteps to a degree and doing mine. Okay, you know? well, I've done my duty to tell you the you, truth, you sir. It's entirely up to you whether you, you believe it or not. What says that? Can I give you that to read? Uh, yeah, I'm going to read give that, that a read. Great depth, and, and then, read uh, that see, and then I, I've seen you before in Kingsland, so you if I see you again. Of, about nine months ago, you had a I think it me. was. You said right to myself. Yeah, all right, so give it a read, see what you think to it. Yeah. Let it go deep to your heart, not just to your head. And again, I'll just say to you, you've got to put your trust in a person. And you build that relationship by mm, praying I to Jesus. Right there, yeah, yeah. You read his word, the Bible. That's a portion of the Bible I've That's given you. That's what I'm you. wearing that today. Okay. You know. Nice to see you, sir. So, Are you allowed to shake hands? Of course, somebody? of course. But I just want to say one more thing. If you can fellowship with other Christians, that would be wonderful. Absolutely, All right, yeah. good, to nice good to see I'm you. Not, my name's Pete, you I are? I know, I'm Leo. I'm Leo, okay, Leo. Yeah, All the best to you. Nice to see you. Bye-bye.